my channel so today i just wanted to talk more about why i chose to go vegan and now i've not scripted this video i just kind of wanted to free talk about it um and just kind of discuss why i went vegan and um, the reason behind it and what it meant for me in my life so previously in my other videos i've discussed how i went vegan at the age of 12. now obviously that's a very young age to be making such a big decision in your life but it was something that i found very important to me at that time so basically what happened is i was at school and we used to have like these assemblies where we sometimes have external speakers come in and some of the students at my school decided they wanted to do an animal rights talk um, and they were talking about sort of animal testing things like that um, and just making sure that you're using products that aren't tested on animals um, which really resonated with me just in that sense and then we moved on to kind of like a small class where we had some animal rights activists come in uh, and they were external speakers and there was one woman who I can't even remember exactly what she spoke about but she basically spoke about veganism and what it meant for the animals and kind of how it worked and I still wish I remembered her name and who they were because I'd love to um, tell her that she kind of started my journey and opened my eyes and turned me vegan but yeah so basically after that talk I literally text my mum on lunch that day and said I want to be vegan or like something like um, is it okay if I go vegan um, and my mum just put we'll discuss this later because my mum's a very open person I was always brought up vegetarian like that's a lie I was brought up pescatarian because I ate tuna I was brought, brought up pescatarian um, and I chose to go vegetarian and stop eating tuna at the age of 11 and then a year later decided to go vegan so um, I'd already made a choice quite recently so she kind of knew that I was going down this sort of path of um, understanding what I was eating and looking at what I was eating more and so I went home spoke with my mum and she basically said to me I'll allow you to go vegan as soon as I get the things in that you need to be vegan basically so you know alternatives and she also said I will only let you go vegan if you eat vegetables and now I'm really glad my mum said this because she had a better understanding of sort of nutrition and things like that at that age um, and she knew it was very important that as a vegan you eat the right things to be nutritiously healthy and that goes for people that eat meat as well I mean it's not just vegans but I was kind of always as a child for some reason very hard to feed vegetables basically I just agreed to her terms I was just like yeah sure I'll eat vegetables I like vegetables now so why shouldn't I like them and it's important because all your micronutrients come from vegetables basically that's if you eat meat eat dairy anything like that most of your micronutrients will come from vegetables which is why they recommend having five portions a day um, but it's obviously more important for a vegan because your food vocabulary has all of a sudden been limited so if you weren't eating it before and just kind of riding along and having a few here and there um, you now that makes up the bulk of your diet so if you don't like vegetables and you decide to go vegan then you don't have much more to eat other than well you have a lot to eat um but fruit and vegetables is very important to your diet so yeah i agreed to her terms and then i went vegan so obviously originally i went vegan for the animals and i have to argue that i don't think you can be vegan if you're not vegan for the animals and um, there's a big difference between being plant-based and being vegan and if you're plant-based then you just that's all about your food so you're just eating plant-based foods but if you're vegan that's your entire lifestyle which is why like my food i changed overnight that was very easy for me changing the foods um but the actual lifestyle side of it changing all my makeup using up what i had left and you know finding replacement products and researching what's cruelty free what's not cruelty free i got it wrong a few times and i think that's normal if you're transitioning into a vegan lifestyle um you're completely relearning how to live and how to you know find out the information that you need to know for products vegan there was a lot of learning curves and i would probably say that it took me I would say three to four years to fully learn what was truly vegan um, and what that meant to me and obviously it's been a long time now it's been almost 10 years since I first went vegan um, so obviously I'm very comfortable I find it very easy to eat out eat in you know live my life buy products um, and now I've decided that I want to make the transition into vegan activism which means I'm going to be more voicing it more on my social media and um, getting more involved and I kind of feel a bit guilty that I've not done it before because yes I was helping um, and supporting the vegan movement by being vegan myself um, and talking about it anyway to people but I was never um, actively supporting that movement and I feel kind of guilty for not doing that but that's what I've chose to do now and um, 
I'm not comfortable just sitting back and letting things happen anymore. And I want to raise my voice for like what I believe and I want to talk more about what I believe in. So that's kind of where I am today. I don't think transitioning over to a vegan lifestyle is definitely the easiest thing in the world. I don't think it's as hard as people seem to make it out to be, but I also don't think it's the easiest thing in the world. I mean, like I said, you're completely relearning. Um, one, how you perceive the way things are. Two, relearning how to work with food and what food you can and can't eat. Um, and three, you're also learning how to look at all products in life. So whether that's cleaning products, whether that's makeup, whether that's clothing, whether that's the car you drive, like everything has to be relearned and um, you have to make a lot of hard decisions. So do I continue using the products that I own or do I replace my vegan products? Do I um, continue supporting certain businesses because they also have really bad ethics towards animals or do I not support them at all. There's a lot of debates within the vegan community as to what you should and shouldn't do. Um, for example, shopping at supermarkets. I suppose that there are probably some vegans out there that say you shouldn't shop at supermarkets because you're supporting the meat side of it as well. But I think it's important personally for me to support vegan products regardless. So if they've produced a vegan product, by supporting that, I'm showing there's a demand for vegan products. So that might change the supplier's ideas of what is important to that business. So I think that's why it's important to me to support these new vegan products that keep coming out and with regards to where they came from. So for example, uh, shoe companies that sell leather shoes, but they produce a vegan shoe. I think it's important to support that vegan shoe, just as one example. So yeah, that's why I went vegan. Obviously, um, throughout the 10 years of me being vegan, I've learned so much more about um, the effect on the environment, the effect on my health, um, and also obviously how many animals I'm actually saving. Um, there's many reasons why you, you should go vegan um, and how many ways that will benefit you as a person as well as the world. Um, and I think it's definitely the future and what we're looking at as the future. Um, so if you did want to educate yourself, I'll leave you some great links below and some great channels of some amazing vegan speakers. Um, I also recommend going to uh, vegan events, ve vegan activism events specifically, if it is something you're interested in. And just starting a discussion, even if you're not vegan now and you're not interested in veganism, um, just have a discussion with a vegan. I mean, normally, I mean, obviously with any community, there's going to be different types of people, but normally vegans will be very open to discussion. And I mean, even have a discussion with me, I'm, I'm more than open to have a discussion about uh, veganism, what it is, and um, almost have a debate. I think it's very healthy to have debates and very healthy to have discussions. I've previously been very scared of them, didn't want to get involved with them, but now I'm all ready to be discussing it and um, sharing my beliefs and why I think it's important to be vegan and why it's important to the future of the world and the future of the people. So yeah, that's all I wanted to say in this video. I know it's very short, um, but I just wanted to talk a bit more about it and sort of introduce the vegan activist side of what I'm going to be doing and explain how that's probably going to affect some of my videos on my channel and also my social media because I'm going to be talking more about veganism. For example, I'm going to be planning a video. I'm currently planning a video to do it with my good friend Lara, who is also vegan, just talking about some of the assumptions about veganism. So if you do have any assumptions that you want me to talk about in that video, um, then leave them in the comments below and that doesn't matter if you are already vegan or if you aren't vegan just leave whatever you think about veganism below in the comment box um, and we will discuss them in that video so that's everything for this video i hope you enjoyed it give it a massive thumbs up if you did and hit that subscribe button and also the little notification bell so i know you're seeing all my videos and i hope to see you in my next one stay strong stay safe and stay happy bye guys we're on number one. So where do you get your protein from? Nuts, beans, tofu seeds, quinoa, lentils, hemp and peas, oatmeal, spinach, and we know what's in it. I wish I could say the same for me. So is my boy and so is broccoli. But you can only still eat me one, two. How do you afford to buy all that healthy food? The exact same way you've afforded to buy that iPhone, iPad, a brand new